Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Let's Play Oblivion again, where uh, Jazeera is striking a very heroic-looking pose there while sat on his little stool next to the fire. And there's a teleporting villager. How you doing? It is probably about four in the afternoon. Um, Jazeera required 13 hours of sleep. He hasn't gotten 13 hours of sleep. He's gotten about maybe 10 or something. Um, he's still somewhat tired, according to the pop-up at the top left when I opened my inventory. Um, but it's 4.35 p.m. It's about time we shoved off, try and make the walk to Anvil, and then uh, probably collapse into a bed at an inn by the time we get there. Crap. I was stupid enough to taste one of the ingredients. I thought it was harmless. But now I'm feeling really ill. It must have been poisons. Oh, dear. Well, that's not good. I was about to mention, Jazir's feeling pretty ill himself because, um... He managed to contract brain rot from sleeping in a dirty mattress down there on the floor. So, um... Yeah, that's not great. And uh, none of the he none of the rest none of the cure disease potions I have are, are powerful enough to get rid of it either. So um, uh, that's annoying. And also, apparently, Vili has now managed to make herself ill as well. Uh, can Jazir help you in any way? Yes. Look, I'm feeling even worse now. This poison must be very strong. You must find me a cure poison potion as soon as possible. I don't think I'm strong enough to walk, and if I do, the poison might spread faster. So I better wait here for you. It could be that you need to buy a cure poison potion. I know it's possible to mix one's own, but I don't think the content is as powerful. And I very much doubt that an ordinary cure poison spell would help. Hurry up, please. This is rapidly getting worse. Oh dear. Worry not, Vilia. Your fate is in the hands of one scatterbrained Khajiit with brain rot. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, what was your name again? Was it? There's nothing left. Marvin. Don't forget. Cameron Mitchell. A burnt uh, Matthew. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, um, is there someone around here who sells stuff? Sleep. Thanks. Kavach is safer for all of us now you've closed the gate. Yes, yes, hero of Kavach. Let's you do sell potion of cure points. My god, that was uh, serendipitous, wasn't it? Mother of. You don't have any cure disease, do you? No, you're just weak cure disease. That's not good enough, unfortunately. 120 gold. You. You, scalper. Whittled you down 116. No deal. Oh, come on. This is an emergency. Come back and see me again. Yeah, not likely. Bye. Please, I really need a potion of cure poison. Uh, will this potion do? Yes, that one should work fine. Thank you. There you go. Feel better now. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Well, if you like, we should really get going, though. We've wasted enough time as it is. Uh, tell Jazir some more about yourself. I've told you about my time in Skingrad, didn't I? Well, after that I traveled to Anvil. I thought that Sea Breeze would do me good. I could work as a barmaid at the Count's Arms, and I liked it fairly well. All the Wilbur's bad jokes can be a bit hard to cope with. And then I fell in love. Seriously and eternally. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm talking about Bruce, my horse. I found him at the Horse Whisperer stable and it was love at first sight. I often went there to feed him with carrots. There was, however, a problem with Brusa, which was the reason he hadn't been sold. It was impossible to put a saddle on his back. Each time the stable owner tried, Brusa would kick and bite and go berserk. Finally, the stable owner got tired of this and decided to kill him. I begged him to instead give the horse to me. He said no. Then I offered to buy Brusa, and this he accepted. But, of course, I hadn't got the money. 
I worked extra as a cleaning lady at both the Mage's Guild and Fighter's Guild, until I had 2,000 gold. Other white horses cost 4,000 gold, but as Bruce was considered as useless, I got him for half that sum. Once Bruce was mine, I quickly found out why he refused the saddle. It turned out that he was ticklish, and that's why he went berserk. And once I've understood that, there were no further problems. I just put the saddle on with very firm hands. Hmm. Jazir knows very little about horses. In fact, he knows virtually nothing. Uh, so if he ever gets a horse, guess who is going to be asking for uh, riding lessons? Okay, let's go. Sure. Alright, we need we need to get we need to get me. What are you doing? You're doing sort of like a like I'm re I'm really tired and knackered animation there. That was really weird, but it was getting mixed up with running, and so it looked very strange. Anyway, never mind. Let's just let's just go, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the hero of Kavash finally making his way to Anvil, which apparently Vilia has been to already. Why is with the words? Is, is, is he still feeling a bit icky from the poison? Maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But um. I, 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 actually, it amuses me a great deal. Actually, I love the idea of, I, yes, yes, I joined the Fighters Guild as a cleaning lady. <laughs> not, not, not to actually do any fighting. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, hello. Is this another adventurer? I believe it is. Hello. Kifal is Solhan. Good day. Kifal is Solhan is a brave and undependable level 15 barbarian. Good for you, Kifal is. And Anvil's literally just over there. It's, uh... Yep, there it is. You can see it already. It's, uh, the, the, some, the, the, the Oblivion's map is so weird, isn't it? You know, it's it's huge, and yet at the same time, it can often feel incredibly small. Yeah, anyway, Vilia does, have, in fact, have a horse. Uh, easy to forget that, but... She does have a horse. We just never use it because Jazir doesn't have a horse. This is interesting. Just go away. I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's the way you feel. What's the deal here then? How are you? Hi guys. Go ahead, please. Good day. Welcome to Godshore, adventurer. Thank the nine this place is here. It wasn't long ago that there would have been nowhere to stop and rest until reaching Skingrad or Anvil. We might not have made it to either of them after that, that, that night in Kavach. I'm just thankful Emily's horse wasn't killed with all the others. You must have heard by now, the whole city was destroyed by the Daedra. My husband and I managed to flee the initial onslaught. It was chaos, panic. There was so much smoke, so much death, so many enemies. Somehow we managed to make it out to the stables. We hid there until early morning. That's when Emily emerged from the smoke, her horse in tow behind her. Sadly and Mattias ordered everyone to leave the area since the enemy was still active. We packed up and what we could and we, and we left. We ended up here after finding the refugee camp too and insufficiently guarded. Azara and I have decided we're not going to try and make it to Hammerfell. Forok has agreed to, not to report us to the council so we can build a house here. It'll probably take weeks to complete it but it will be our new home. Emily is welcome to stay with us of course for as long as she needs. Who's Emily? By Gods, is that her over there? Notice anymore. It is. I guess Still can't get over it. All is lost. The city in ruins and my husband lost. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you with that. What can I do for you? Your husband is lost. Oh, I don't really mean to bother you with all that. He's not dead, if that's what you're asking. You sure I'm not imposing on you? Uh, please, go on. Jazeera has very little better to do. You're too kind. My husband, Brutus, and I lived in Kavach. He's a member of the city guard. He was out on patrol the night of the attack. I was at the stable, tending to our horse. Something had agitated him, and the ostler asked me to come out to calm him. Is that when the Daedra attacked? Yes, it was awful. A huge glowing red gate erupted in front of the city gates. The horse panicked and ran off, and without thinking, I chased after him. That probably saved my life. By the time I caught up to the horse, the city, uh, something... I returned next morning, and the city gate was blocked. That's when Azar and Chalice found me. What happened then? 
Sablin Matthews ordered everyone who made it out to go down the mountain. Azar and Chilis lost their horses and most of their supplies. I offered my horse and we gathered what we could. Uh, the refugee camp near the mine was already crowded to f too full and didn't feel safe. There was a mine there? I, didn't, I never noticed that. There was someone named Hirtel ranting about the end of the world and he was scaring everyone. We decided to leave and head for Anvil. I understood you helped them s help save the survivors who fled th into the chapel. The Dying bless you for that. You brought hope to those who had none. Well, news did travel fast, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, fair enough, I guess. We, 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 have, we have been asleep for like 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 ten hours. Um, how did you end up here? My horse threw a shoe and we had to stop. Thorok was kind enough to let me, me stable the horse here. The Tannisons have decided they wish to stay here rather than risk a trip across the Badlands to Hammerfell. They're letting me stay with them for now, but I desperately want to find my husband. Could I perhaps impose upon you to help me with that? Ah, very well. Jizir will help you find him. Bless you. The last I heard, he was on patrol duty in the city. I have no idea where he might have gone. All I know for sure is that he's not dead. Savlian would have told me if he was. Perhaps you could ask Savlian if he knows anything of use. Oh. You mean you want me to go all the way back? Just get oh, Fine. Fine. Very well. What do you want? Chalice and I would probably be dead by now if we hadn't stopped here. The road to Anvil has been far too dangerous to travel since the Kavach invasion. Uh, got sure as good people. We're forever grateful to the chance for the chance they gave us at survival. I see. That's we Azar, see. apparently. Well then, okay. So obviously this is this is modded. In case that wasn't blindingly obvious. Before, and I don't care if I never see one again. This well, uh, it works, yay! Water, and not canteens full of blood. <laughs> Got trick residence, yes. So this has clearly been expanded a bit. Blade and bone. That's going to be an orc weapon shop, isn't it? Like, one hundred percent. It's got to be, surely. Well, there's an inn here in vanilla, and that which is this one here, I suppose. But obviously, they've expanded it into a sort of a small, what uh, is it now? you know, hamlet or thorpe or whatever. There's the Gotshaw Inn. That's where we might. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Oh my God, that's really hey, creepy. Don't do that. The weird uh, animations are bad enough, but there. like. Once you get used to flies, don't uh, don't start like 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 mouthing along with the NPCs. Really, that's just strange. What is it? I'm guessing you own that shop over there. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna go back down the road and before nightfall and, and, and look for Savlian. I suppose. Also, there's a shrine up there. Hey, Vilia. I reckon maybe we can get our. I I I, th I hope I don't know if this works actually. To be honest with you, but I'm hoping maybe. Well, there's a mandrake route. I could try that if this doesn't work. But um, I think maybe I can get my uh, brain rot cured here. How about going for a ride? It doesn't really matter where to. I just feel that I have spent too little time with my horse Bruiser lately. Well, you go for a ride then. Jazeel does not have a horse. Um, are you... Okay, that's apparently that's how how pilgrims of Zenith are just do it. They just stand in the middle bit and uh, okay, well, fine, whatever. Honest labor earns its own reward. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Um, have you have you cured my? Uh, have you cured my? Uh... Oh, it has, I think. I'm not seeing uh, the brain rot thing here anymore and drain intelligence or whatever. Also, there's some sort of. <laughs> that's just Kavach, isn't it? I thought it was like, oh, there's some sort of castle up on this hill. Nah, it's just Kavach, isn't it? <laughs> I just noticed the dead trees. I wonder if there's another way up there. Without, you know, going the usual way. This is this is sort of reminds me of trying to get up the throat of the world in Skyrim without using the actual steps. But I wonder. Can we can we try and find a way up? I'm gonna waste far too much time doing this, aren't I? I can already tell. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Oh, just an autosave. Okay, I thought I'd broken the game and it was about to crash there. Alright, here we go. We're back. Obviously, it's not raining anymore. You can get a clear look at the place. What a mess. Also, nice sunset, actually. Although I can't actually see the sun right now, I must admit. 
the glowy flame action are. Yeah, you have some fire salts for me. I would like those. I'm not sure what I need them for, but I'd like them. Problem with playing two Elder Scrolls games on the channel at once is I sometimes get really confused when it comes to my alchemy ingredients. That's cure disease. Nice. I guess Savlin is still at the at the at the uh, I don't know what you call it now. I was going to say castle, but you know the keep, I, I guess. Oh dear, what a state. Still haven't put out the fires. It is a damn shame that the Cavatry built mod requires you to play through the main quest. Because uh, it would have been a really nice addition to this Let's Play otherwise. Helping rebuild Kvatch. Oh, I see the vultures here circling already. You got anything worth looting? Um, yeah, I'll take that magic ring. I won't cut out your heart though, I think that's just a little bit weird and disturbing. Take your fire salts. Ooh, Planescape Tournament music. Love it. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just had a crash. That's the first one I've had in ages and ages and ages and ages. Um, one moment! All right, there we go. It was not a repeatable crash, thankfully. Just a random one. Savlian! Kavach was rebuilt from ruins once before, and she'll do it again. You have my thanks. She'll want to do it again if you just sit around doing nothing all day. I mean, at least put out the fires, for goodness sake. Uh, anyway, uh, Jizir is here to ask about Brutus Calidus. Brutus? Yeah, I remember him. Good man. He was on patrol near the arena the night of the invasion. There was a lot of confusion and chaos that night. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of all of that. Um... The last time I saw him, he was escorting the first wave of evacuees down to the refugee camp. He was supposed to remain on guard there. Perhaps you could ask someone there if they've seen him. Emily must be out of her mind with worry. Right, thank you very much, Savian. She'll be on my way back down the hill again. Just here going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, like he has nothing better to do. Well... Now, Jazeera has nothing better to do. That is sort of the point. Ah, never mind. Okay, here we are again. What could we have done to deserve... I'm really busy. Oh, sorry. You closed the gate, yes? Thank you. What can I do for you? Uh, Jazeera is looking for Brutus Calidus. Brutus? Hmm, oh yeah, he's the guard who led the first group down from the mountain the night of the attack. He didn't handle that night well. He, I think he was upset about the death of his wife or something. He didn't talk much about it. We woke up one night and he ran off down the embankment into the forest. We haven't seen him since. A friend of mine in the Imperial City claims they saw a soldier wearing a Kavach uniform in a little fishing village. Vergayan, I think it was. Perhaps you could look there. Okay. Vergayan. That name kind of rings a bell, but I don't know if it's actually a bell that's being rung from this particular playthrough. <laughs> I don't know if we've actually been to Vergayan, or if I've just been there in a previous playthrough that wasn't recorded. It's not the first time I've used these uh, these village mods here. Uh, Vergayan, 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 near the Imperial City, Vergayan. Faragil, Pelsgate, um, Eurosec, Mephala Shrine. I don't have a quest marker, you see, is the thing. I have no idea where Vergayan is. Goblin Jim's Cave, Shadeleaf Cops. Castle. Cross crack spot, yeah, stupid DLC stuff. Let's 
Perhaps in the cliff watch. A lappy, border watch, Gareland. Uh, and then of course the crew have got elsewhere. I'm going to go ahead and guess that Vagayan probably isn't in elsewhere. Um, I wonder if maybe I ran into Vagayan when I was doing mod testing for this playthrough. That could be why it rings a bell. But I don't remember where it would be. Oh, elsewhere. My, we, we need to go here at some point in this playthrough. I'm actually really looking forward to having exploring elsewhere. Because I, I have very fond memories of playing this mod back in the day. We, I just haven't been able to quite find a reason to go there just yet. Um, but once we do, um, it should be fun. And when I say I quite find a reason to go there, I mean I mean in character for Jazeera to actually go there. Sleep. Other I'm than sorry. just being like, I you know, oh, Jazeera is feeling homesick. He wishes to go see elsewhere. I mean, that, that's a bit weak. It's, it's legit, but it's kind of weak. Problem is, I, I have no idea. I haven't put an awful, awful lot of thought into, like, where Jazir's obviously he's from the Tenmar Forest, right? He's from down here somewhere, but um, like I can't think of, I don't I don't, you know, I, I don't I can't think of anywhere in in the mod in the game we could actually go to and be like this is this is the house Jazir grew up in, for example. Um, so I don't I don't think there's much in the Tenmar Forest anyway. Um, the elsewhere mod has always been a bit incomplete. Um, the sort of northern half of it is really good down about as far as Corinth, but you get any further south than that, and it's all a little bit, like, unfinished, I think. Um, I don't know if there's actually really anything in the Ten Mile Forest, so I guess we could probably just pretend that, oh, he's from a village in the Ten Mile Forest somewhere, and we're just not going to go there because, um, game limitations. Or whatever. Um, oh. Oh, I, I've, ha <laughs> I've already looted that aloe vera. Looted? That seems like just completely the wrong word. I've already picked that aloe vera, I guess. Harvested. I ran Whatever. Into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Nasty little beasts. Yes, they are. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to stop commenting on her weird animation glitch. Uh, reloading the game does not seem to have fixed it, so it's just a thing. We'll just have to live with it. All right, we're back at the inn. There's a big old moon in the sky. And we need some rest. Hello, everybody. It's the smell, really. Smoke and fire. And something worse. Oh. oh. Hello. Crowded pub, eh? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Well met. Uh, Jazir really needs a bed quite desperately. Do you have any available? Aye. There's a bed free if you need it. It'll be ten gold for the night. What do you say? So that, Jazeera says, excellent, thank you very much. Right then, up the stairs in the back, and it's the last door at the end of the hall. Straight ahead of you after turning that corner. Ten gold is a pretty good deal, not like that rip-off place in Eurasec. This is a nice, peaceful place. We get plenty of traffic from travelers and adventurers such as yourself. My family founded this inn nearly 50 years ago. It's only been more recently that the rest of the village sprung up around it. But one of the last Cyrodiil villages to expand without need for an imperial charter. I see. A little food and drink will do you some good. It will, actually. Um, Jazir will have some cheap wine. And also, yeah, some, some provisions for the road. I wouldn't make that deal. And um, mandrake root, root as well. I'm not going to mix those into potions. Thank you for your patron. I want to see if simply eating a mandrake root. Um, you're right over there, Philly. Um, I want to see if simply eating a mandrake root can cure any disease. Like if it bypasses the potion strength requirement. It might not, but it'd be worth checking out, I suppose. Stop talking. Enough. Yeah, I'd stop talking enough indeed. It's very noisy in there. Um, I'm wondering if maybe getting into combat might fix her animations potentially, or or, 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 or what? I don't know. Anyway, where's the, where's our where's our bed? What's the news from the other parts of town? Where's our room? Good night. Yeah. Okay. Right. Attempting to capture the whole of Solstheim and remove the fort on the island. Interesting picture, although it's overlapping with another one, which kind of ruins it a little bit. But enough talk. Goodbye. It's a painting of Farragut, isn't it? I recognize that. Anyway, see you in the morning. 
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's the morning. I'm just on my way to go, uh, well, I was just on my way to go fill up my, my canteens at the well, and then Jazir noticed this Khajiit lady adventurer. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Renita Aspor is a brave and irresponsible level 8 scout. Oh, you, you have have a nice day. <laughs> Jazir just saw, saw a Khajiit lady walking along. He was like, ah! The, the well water can wait. Uh, Jazeera's gonna go say hello. <laughs> uh, there we go. Filled our empty canteens with water. Thankfully, that means we have now finally gotten rid of all the canteens full of blood. Uh, God, that was weird. That was pretty friggin' weird. Right now, then. Um, so, let's... Can we find What's-Her-Face? Just have a little chat with her. Maybe she can tell us where the, the place is that... Uh, Emily, that was your name. What news? Have you found Brutus yet? No. I was hoping you could tell me where the hell the guy is, but no such luck, apparently. Are you feeling all right? Look, the cure poison potion helped, but I feel very weak. Let me rest a little before we continue. Oh, okay. Well, all right then. Um, sure. Uh, I, I didn't. I just thought it was a glitch. I didn't realize it's because she's actually still feeling really really dodgy um that's i feel bad now <laughs> i feel terrible You're dragging her around and mocking her <laughs> look the yeah yeah just okay um what do we need to what do we need to do just wait for a bit good morning i was kind of hoping i could leave her here and go off explore or something but uh I'll just wait for a little while Look. Okay. I can't actually access any of her other dialogue options, you know, or anything like that in the meantime. It's uh it's a bit of a bit of a problem actually. Well, um I tell you what, folks, we'll rest her a bit. We'll just take it easy while she heals up, I guess, and I'll come back to you when she's feeling better, I suppose, unless it's glitched and broken, in which case, oh dear. Alright, it's the following day. She's looking a little cheerier. Look. Oh, really? Really, Vilia? Oh, dear. Uh, okay. What if I just rest a few more hours? This is this is getting silly. Look. Oh, dear. Uh, really? What's the, what's the deal here, Vilia? Come on. You've, you've been... We've rested for like two days now. This is getting a little silly. Uh, alright, fine. Um... Let's, let's rest for, uh, yeah, 24 hours. All right. There we go, I'm finally. Fine again. Guess I have at least learned never to taste ingredients I'm not 100% sure of. Let's continue. Yes, uh, the th problem is it's raining now, Vilia. It's, it's raining. And uh, Jizir would not, rather not go walking to an all the way to Anvil in the rain. It would not be pleasant. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Yeah, it's it's the YouTube audience, really. Um, bother. All right. <laughs> Let's rest for a few hours. See if it lets up. It's not going to, is it? Oh, for goodness sake! All right. Uh, tomorrow then. We spent half a week in this damn place now. I haven't had to renew the room is the weird and interesting thing to me, though. Hurrah, it's finally stopped. Okay. We're probably super duper hungry and thirsty now, aren't we? Uh, let's just get rid of these uh, little <laughs> canteens of blood. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, I read it, when I reloaded the game, I had the canteens again, in case you're wondering. Um, and then... Slightly hungry still, my mother of god. Alright, fine. Hey, so that's a massive meal you just ate. Just, you just ate Jazeera. I'd be feeling pretty bloated after that, my friend. Especially this all that is cheese. Encounter. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, wondrous indeed. Speak. Okay. Let's, uh, there's Anvil just over there. You can see the sea in the distance. Lovely. Um, let's quickly pop up here and get our canteens refilled. 
It's the smell of it. There we go. And now let's finally be on our way. I guess you can get used to anything. Got sure. Imperial City Skin Grad, Kvatch, Anvil. Wondering if maybe there would be a sign for Vagai in there, but uh, nope. Sounds like Vagai's back in the direction of the Imperial City anyway, by the sounds of it, so. Right. What more awaits us on the road to Anvil that will be unexpected? Many things, perhaps. I think such is along kind of in this direction, isn't it? And by that, I don't mean Fort Such. I mean the actual town, because I think I have a mod, if I recall correctly, that uh, turns Such into a town. Because it originally was supposed to be a town, actually, in, in, in Oblivion. But uh, it was one of those many features they cut for development time. So uh, someone came along and made a mod that uh, kind of, kind of added it back in, in a sense. Also, hello, hello, Vera. Yes, please. Make lovely, lovely healing potions with you. It's another inn. This one is the Brina Cross Inn, right? Yep. No need to stop here right now. I think we'll just push on. Not very far to go, actually. Oh, hello, Mr. Imperial Legion dude. You have my ear, citizen. Um, just it doesn't want your ear. Human ears are rubbish. And that would be a highwayman, would it not? Very inconspicuously standing there. Your money or your life. How many times must I teach you guys a lesson? Take it from me if you can. We can play it that way if you like. Ooh, that's a <laughs> rather large hammer. Get him, Milia. So you call yourself a <laughs> Whoa. Big steel warhammer. Awfully tempting, actually. <laughs> no, I don't mind saying. I do like my steel bearded battle axe. It's all da it's all damaged at the minute. In fact, so is my longsword depletion. Actually, we need to visit a uh, a smith at our earliest convenience. Um, so there's nine damage. Bearing in mind it is slight damage versus twelve for this, but this does way significantly less, and and it is just cool. The, the bearded battle axe is just cool. I mean, it, I think it looks great. So, there should be some ah, there we go. Such. Once I activated one by accident, lightning bolts can be really devastating inside the shop. <laughs> Especially if they're Baldur's Gate lightning bolts. Uh, it's a miracle you're still alive. Uh, Anyway, yeah, there's a sign for search, everybody. I'm, I'm, let's go check it out, shall we? Why the hell not? I have to say, I am damn curious. Ah, oh, a little, lovely bit of Witcher 1 music right now. Which I have mixed feelings about, because on the one hand, I enjoy the Witcher 1 soundtrack. On the other hand, it feels like it's taunting me, because I never did finish that Witcher Let's Play, did I? Yeah, sorry about that. This isn't such. <laughs> this isn't such! I feel I've been conned. Unless the road simply goes through here and continues onwards. Maybe it does, actually. Okay, maybe this is such. I was expecting more, if I'm honest. Unless... Oh, wait! No, no, no! There is more! Okay. Oh, a gallows. Lovely. Have much call for that around here, do they? I mean, the death penalty in Tamriel is just astonishingly rare, frankly, so... Oh, wow, they have their own guards. Check this out. Greetings. Welcome to Such. 
Such as a farming and mining town, you'll find a no, no better mix of people from all over than here. We serve as the town militia, so stay out of trouble. Mining, you see. Such as perhaps the last operational ebony mine left in all of Cyrodiil. Most others you have to go all the way to Morrowind to find. Our primary responsibility as the town militia is to keep the ebony resources safe from bandits and thieves. Understand? What are you implying? Hello. Do you always know what you would like to do next? Myself, I sometimes don't know at all. And that is frustrating. Oh, tell me about it, will you? Contraption they've got there. Got the bloomery. Something very thief too about that uh, machine there. Hello, Razan Lee. Go ahead, please. A most unusual substance. It must be handled with extreme care until we are able to refine it. Raw ore from the mines is brought here to my bloomery. The fires must be kept hot and the stack clean at all times or the impurities will ruin the stock. Once purified, it can be sold for a very high price at the markets. Some of the finest weapons and armors you'll ever see are made from ebony or mined right here. Okay. Oh, good day. Well, oh, don't let me uh, get in your way then. Does it work? Oh no, it's been poisoned and also briefly phased out of reality. Okay, what's this place then? The Silver Star Inn. Such village charter. Oh boy, this is a bit of reading, but I'll do it, I suppose. Imperial Town Charter Such. By the power vested in me by His Royal Highness. Uh, would it be His Royal Highness? I feel like it would be His Majesty at the very least. I'm being a pedant, I apologise. Um, Uriel Septim the Seventh. It is hereby um, decreed that the town of Such shall be chartered for the purpose of rebuilding the previous city of the same name. Under this charter, the town shall commission a mining crew of sufficient size to resume operations in the ebony mine known as Denegor's Folly. Further, the town mayor shall be responsible for hiring a militia of sufficient number to protect the claim at this mine of any citizen and of any citizenry who may later be granted property charters in the town. Payment for this charter, in the total amount to 300,000 gold septums, is to be rendered in the form of a monthly taxation in the amount of 2,500 gold septums per month for 10 years until the debt is paid in full. If the town wishes, the charter fee may be paid in full in the amount of the current balance at any time before the term is expired. The town mayor shall be given the right to issue local property charters under any terms he sees fit, provided said terms do not violate imperial law. The town mayor may, may also, at his discretion, offer special contracts for caravans, merchants, mercenaries, and adventurers under such circumstances as may be needed, provided said services are offered in accordance with imperial law. Is that a subtle hint that we might be able to get a player home here, perhaps? Mm. Uh, the, this charter may be revoked at any time, at the sole discretion of the Elder Council or the Emperor himself. Should such a revocation be deemed necessary, payment of any remaining balance on the Charter will be suspended and all proceeds collected to date will be retained by the Empire. This Charter is lawful and valid and is enacted this day, the 18th of Sun's Height in the year of RK431. Uh, witnessed and entered into record by Venetia Melissea, Office of Imperial Commerce. This charter must remain displayed in a prominent public location at all times. And so it is. So we've got the Silver Star in. I'm not going to go in there just now. We've got, ooh, some horses with unusual colours. Dapple Grey Horse. Ooh, I wonder if we can buy one of these. Good morning. What do you want? Hello. I love this place. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get a charter to open a stable in one of the big cities when everyone thinks you're going to eat their horses? <laughs> Those who live by the commands of the nine. Yeah, all right, whatever. Enough talk. Cool. I do. I like this one here. 
Anyway, um, let's, let's make sure we close the gate so they don't wander off. I particularly like this one here because he's doing some sort of levitation trick right there. That's very clever. Well done, horse. Um, anyway. Well, we have officially found such, ladies and gentlemen. Slightly hungry and somewhat thirsty. Let's we can see. live for it for now. May I help you? We're not interrupting anything, are we? Go ahead, please. God, you remind me of one of those guys from Hack Dirt. I used to work in the iron mines outside of Stonemore until they got tapped out. Probably would, would have stayed had Drought not taken our farm, too. Those pigs in Rihad were going to let my wife and I starve in the streets until we ran into some kindly old pirate gentleman. Never did get his name. Lives down in Oyster Bay, last I knew. Incredible turn of luck since the uh, charter here saved my family and I from certain death. Wouldn't be the dread pirate Roberts, would it, by any chance? <laughs> uh, you're asking me about ebony? Well, I know only very little about the process of extracting it from the rock. The real expert is Gorb Grobalza. Okay. The prettiest town in Cyrodiil. <laughs> Don't know. But the ugliest is Braville. Oh, absolutely. Shabby, tumble-down shacks. Oh, they're big shacks, though. <laughs> ugliest visually, anyway. Ugliest aesthetically. Ugliest in spirit, perhaps not. I think maybe that would be Leowin, or perhaps Shading Hall. Yeah. Bye. Go ahead, please. My husband and I came down from Stonemore in Hammerfell. Drought crippled our farm, and the local iron mine went dead six months later. There was no work to be had in Rihad, but a nice old man who lives down in Oyster Bay mentioned the village charter, and we made our way here. I work on the vineyard, and my husband has joined the mining crew. I can't imagine living anywhere else now. Good for you. Goodbye. You have managed to find a place for yourself in this crazy mixed-up world. She's more than many can say, including Jazir, to be honest. Razor's Edge. I never did go into that orc weapon shop, did I? At Gottshaw. I forgot to do that before we left. Never mind. We'll be back there someday, I'm sure. Hello, Dwip. And hello, random deer. I think you might be... You might. There's a chance you might be someone's pet, so I'm not going to kill you. Silver Star Vineyard, home of such spirits. And we have a big old house. A right, gentleman over there who is probably the guy who lives here, I would imagine. Silver Star Manor. Elliot Leviti Levitius. Well met. Some of the finest land around, my friend. You can't grow grapes this good anywhere other than Skingrad, and land rights are far cheaper here. My winery is making plenty of money, too. That fool Drad will find out soon enough his gold mine isn't going to last, and then who gets the last laugh? You, see. Oh, you have a nice day, Mr. Levitius. And uh, from here we have a... Oh, hello. Would that be Oyster Bay down there by any chance? And we have a nice little view of Hammerfell from over here. Yeah, there you go. All the way over there. My goodness, that is quite far, actually, we can see right now. I wonder which bit of Hammerfell that is. Where's my... Where's, I have a map on the wall of Tamriel here somewhere. Uh, it's just too far away for me to read it from here, though. <laughs> uh, where's my... Hang on a minute. Uh, oh, I've got my Daggerfall Iliac Bay map up on the other... other wall, which is a bit closer, and I can read, but uh, it's not on there, this bit of Hammerfell, so never mind. I think the uh, we may end up going there someday, eh? On the channel, I think I think the prevailing opinion among folks seems to be that the next Elder Scrolls game is probably going to be Hammerfell. I um, I'm looking forward to it. Hammerfell probably wouldn't have been my first choice for a province to put a new Elder Scrolls game in, but you know, I uh, I'm still looking forward to it anyway. I think I think uh, I think they could actually make Hammerfell super Maybe interesting if they put their minds the to it anyway. Stay at home. Cook a good meal, drink a glass of wine in front of the fireplace. Really, I would like to point out two things. One, we do not have a home. Two, we just spent a week at Godshaw doing nothing. I guess you were ill for a lot of it, which is probably fair enough now that Jazir thinks about it, but still. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think Hammerfell could be pretty cool. I mean, you've got big deserts, and I love desert levels in video games. Uh, Big deserts. You could have a kind of ancient Egyptian kind of thing going on. Some really, really ancient Red Guard like ruins and stuff. 
like Yakudan ruins, really, I suppose. Um, and then you could have a, you could have like, you know, Yakuda itself as would probably play a part in the game's main story. Maybe you know, you could have an, uh, you know, Fall of Atlantis whole vibe to it. Um, you could you could really get into a lot of that ancient Yakudan history, which is a really cool element of Elder Scrolls lore. I find that is just thoroughly and totally overlooked most of the time. Um, because if you're not really up on and familiar with your lore, which I suppose I'm, I'm a little rusty myself, honestly, but Red Guards aren't related to um, the other humans, you know, like the Nords and Imperials and whatever. Red Guards are not from Atmora. They're from Yakuda, off to the west of Tamriel somewhere, which I think sank into the ocean or something, if I recall. It kind of is a little, a little, a little Atlantis inspired. Um, and they have some pretty cool and interesting lore, but you really have to dig for it to find it most of the time because uh, it doesn't come up very often. But um, anyway, suffice to say, I think Bethesda has it within their power to actually make a game in Hammerfell super duper interesting. It also, unfortunately, has the potential to be super duper boring if they literally just decide to go boring old medieval Middle East with it. Which, I mean, that's not necessarily boring. At least it's not medieval Europe. That's way more boring. Sorry, Oblivion. I feel like I'm insulting you right now, but I'm just I'm just speaking my mind here. I feel I'm talking the honest truth right now. Um, I'm hungry. But uh, there's a lot you could do with it. There's a lot with it. You, 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 there's a lot you could do with Hammerfell, I think, personally. Um, and I'm, I'm keen to see if Bethesda kind of realizes its potential a bit. Anyway, rant aside. How are you? Welcome, Traveller, to the Shrine of Kinnereth. Come, rest a moment and find peace with nature. I could ask about the Prophet, the Anvil attack. I'm not going to, though, because we're not doing all of that Knights of the Nine malarkey in this playthrough. We already did a Knights of the Nine playthrough. It's on uh, it's on the old VOD channel. If you go on my channel page, you go up to the top right, there should be a little button somewhere that'll take you to my old VOD channel for all my old live streams that I don't use anymore. Uh, and on there, there is a, a live-streamed full playthrough of Knights of the Nine and the uh, Knights of the Nine Revelations mod as well. Uh... Which uh, I recommend checking out. I enjoyed it a great deal. Have so. a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Oh, we can't. <laughs> no, no, can't cast any of those. However, smart to keep your magic items charged. I don't know if I'm going. I'm going to pay for that. Um, there might be a cheaper way to recharge that. Not that the. Absorb for magic of four points for four seconds of strike is a particularly good enchant en enhancement anyway. Enchantment? Enhancement? Whatever. We, whatever we want to call it. Alright, well if I had a disease, it's gone. That's good to know. Alright. Let's, um... Let's wander back down the hill. There is the ruins of Fort Such still there. And I wonder if... Actually, let's pop in here. Hello. Azir? Yes. Where there's mining, there's a need for smithing, right? I heard about the ebony mine opening back up while I was resupplying an anvil. Thought to myself, why well, go back to Rahad? Turns uh, the taxes there were crippling my shop. Turns out it was the most profitable decision I ever made. I pay next to nothing, and the Imperium even allows me to... The Imperium? Really? Allows me to sell a small number of items made from ebony. What is this Imperium you speak of? Jazir is not familiar with this term. Um, of all the natural ores found in Eir Tamriel, ebony is by far the most difficult to work with. Even when purified, it remains somewhat fragile. Great care must be taken while shaping it into armor and weapons. It's a rarity, and difficulty in smithing makes it one of the most expensive materials known. Do you sell Only any ebony gear, then? You'd think he would. What can I interest you in? But it uh, looks like no is the answer. He does. He just has such guard shield, though. If you really really want one for eighteen hundred gold, Elven claymore. It's kind of neat. And a blacksmith hammer that is simply a blunt one-handed weapon. Do I claymore as well? Some ebony arrows. Unfortunately, we can't use these, even if I wanted to buy them. I, 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 I would be awfully tempted by the Elven Claymore, were it not for the fact that I know we can't use it yet. Skill's not high enough, so we'll be relying on our trusty old silver longsword and uh, bearded battleaxe for a while still. Um, nothing much in the way of armor that appeals either, so... 
However, I can fix whatever you fix all of that for me. That would be appreciated. In fact, you know what? Uh, let me get Villiers gear looked at as well. There we go. All fixed up. That sent me back another couple of hundred gold, but it was worth it. Her gear was an absolute state. That's why she'd stopped wearing her chainmail cuirass, is because it was just completely totaled. Um, anyway, we're all fixed up now. She's got some biceps on her, hasn't she, Villa? She's she's she is a strong looking lady, I'm just noticing. You got some thick arms on you, lady. Good for you. It's a, it's a good look. <laughs> Looks like she can wallop a bandit with a big warhammer with the best of them, I reckon. Anyway, um, I want to check out the inn here, and I want to check out the fort itself as well, actually. The Silver Star Inn I will be back for that. Girl will wear a daedric helmet. They're downright ugly. Don't you think so, too? Ugh, helmets in general are pretty darn ugly, if you ask Jazir. He does not like them. They squish his ears. None of them ever have holes in them for the ears. It is very irritating. Jazir does not like it. He cannot hear anything with them on. Ugh. Okay. What is it? Does this go anywhere? Oh, it does. There's an entrance. There is an entrance, and there's an exit as well. Nothing here, though. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd make your way down. Are we... Oh, yeah. We should probably have some lunch or something before we head in. To have a look around. Uh, to the last bread loaf, carrot, cheese. And... Um, Bottle of wine, why not? We good now? I think we're good now. Alright. Not sure what to expect here. I don't know if they've changed much of the interior. Or if it's still gonna be populated by baddies. It's very it's not very well lit, I'll say that much already. Sort of find it hard to believe they would allow the place to be populated by baddies, but uh, nevertheless, it kind of looks like that's the case because I don't think. Uh, oh boy, back away, back away, back away. I feel like maybe the mod makers didn't want to mess with the vanilla for such interior because it might be used for a quest or something. I'm just gonna. I think, I think we'll just back out of here, and we'll just pretend we we saw none of that. Because I mean, look, like even the door looks different on the inside. You notice that it's a big double door on the inside. So let's just pretend we didn't see that, because I think that that would uh, that that's uh, yeah. Suspend your sense of disbelief, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think we'll just leave that and pretend that that's not there. Because otherwise it would just be downright weird that you just got a fort entirely full of bandits about six feet away from the town. Um, you know, well, let's say we went in, the gate was barred shut, and there was nobody about, and we couldn't find a way to get any further, so whatever. It's just a decrepit ruin that's completely unoccupied. Hang on a minute, there's a road leading this way. Where does this go? I, I get why it's there. I think it's because, like I said, the, uh, the 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 mods didn't want to mess with the interior of the fort for the purposes of probably compatibility. And whoa, hello, Mugramurgak. Who's talking to you? I'm not. Uh nice to meet you too. Oh, this would be a shrine of Malakath. Of a troll fat to the altar of Malakath. Does Jazir have troll fat? I mean, uh, Vilia clearly has some input, but uh, the dialogue line didn't play, so. Okay. Who brought a present? That's smart. You want something? And if you're smart, you do what I tell you. 
Lord Drad took my ogres. Says he owns them. Lying maggot! They're my ogres! Lord Drad put my little brothers in chains, working in the mines. I don't like that! Get over to Lord Dredd's estate. Let my ogres loose and get them out. Okay? Get going! When I left the offering, Malekhaf summoned was summoned and spoke to me. He tasked me with traveling to the estate of Lord Dredd and freeing his ogre slaves. Okay, yes, Mr. Malekhaf. Jazir will do this right away. Oh! Malekhaf must think you're okay. <laughs> Congratulations. You must be as ugly and disgusting as the rest of us. <laughs> Jazir has never been called those things as a compliment before. Hey, look, we don't want nothing to do with them settler types. We got here first and ain't going anywhere. Got that? As long as that lizard stays away from our shrine, he gets to live to see another day. Okay. I'll be here. All, All right, then. Slaves. That's a new one. Yes, Jazir has never heard of that before, but okay. They better do as he says. I like to think that uh, uh, the reason Malakath has decided to like take an interest in Jazir is because of that whole goblin quest we did. You know when we helped the goblins? Will you look at these shoes? They hardly in, last uh, a week. In Faragil. My head cannon pretty much is that. That's that's why Malakath actually actually answered us when we made a little offering at the shrine there. I and mean, Jazir makes offerings at all the shrines because you know. We've discussed this previously, but, but to the Khajiit, the, the Adra and Daedra are just not distinct, really distinct from one another. They're all just gods to them. Um, so he offers, it to, he, he makes offerings to all the shrines, whether it's the Divines or the or the Daedra. And, uh, but yes, I like to think that the reason Malakath decided to actually answer and say hello is because, uh, because of the Faragil Goblins thing. It's like, yes, I like this guy. He's got the right mindset. I want him to go rescue my ogre buddies. Alright, well, this is Lord Drad's estate, is it not? Lots of cows here. Lots of cows and sheep and... You require shears to shear the sheep. Alright, fair enough. Sheep having a snooze. Little chick. Piggies! Piggos! Hello, piggos. How you doing? Shouldn't you guys be in pens or something? Or are you just sort of wandering about? I guess they're just wandering about and... There are, oh, there's a diseased chicken there. Um, they must trust the pigs not to just eat all the tomatoes, I guess. Um, that seems unwise to me somehow, but hey. Well, hello. Rooster. There's someone watching me. I can tell. I know, it's the beady eyes of that rooster. Don't tr do not trust him. There, you walk away. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Let me, allow me to... Okay, this is our active quest. Good, good, good. Allow me to simply follow the quest marker here and save ourselves some trouble, folks. Uh, Lord Drad's estate. Okay. Apparently it's trespassing to go in here, but we're going to go in anyway. By the nine divines, can't a woman get a moment to herself? Le Greetings, traveler. <laughs> what is your business here? Ah, uh, never change, Oblivion. Oh yes, good fertile lands, profitable gold mine. One could not ask for better, I think. We settled one of the first claims available here. All right, good for you. Goodbye. I'm just going to run upstairs before I get in trouble, and there he is. I welcome you to my humble home, stranger. What brings you to this place? Uh, tell me about Lord Draddy States. The land is good, the farm productive, but it's mining the wealth from beneath the land that will make my fortune. Yes, Jazir has heard you have. Uh, well, uh, tell, tell Jazir about such. No finer opportunity has risen in a long time. My only regret is that I was not able to secure the mining rights to the ebony mine instead of the gold mine. What's even more amusing is that Elliot Levitius thinks he can make a fortune with wine. One day he'll find out, though, and will, like all Imperials, he'll run and hide. Oh, really? Yeah, Jazir has heard about these ogre slaves you are keeping. Can you think of a better use for the mindless beasts? Under my eye, they do some good in this world. Oh, yeah. Well, Jazir thinks that no creature should be a slave. 
I don't believe I asked for your opinion on this matter. I am done speaking with you. Please leave my estate. Oh, here we go. Yet another uppity dark elf and a slaver to boot. Oh, if Jazir needed any further motivation to do this quest, Let's go I think he just found it. Free Lord Drad's August Lapes. Yes, let's. I'm glad you agree. Now then, mine should be over here somewhere, yes? In fact, there's the entrance right there, I believe. Bleak Mine. Yeah, what, uh, what an appropriate name. Oh, we're going to have to pick the lock, apparently. <laughs> we're going to have to fail at picking the lock, more like. Oh, dearie me. There we go. Come on, it's been a while since I've done this. There we go. Alrighty then. What? You're living on borrowed time, thief! What? I expected him to attack there, but, uh... Thieves break in, but they don't break out. They break all over when I'm finished with them. Okay, then. Right, where would we find these poor ogres? Link mine, unknown location. It's just another one of those weird mod-added dungeon extensions. I think it is. What the, are these things? Ugh! Hostile is what they are! Virvatuli. Virvatuli glitter. Really, this shark and water walking. Wow. I guess they're sort of related to Will of the, Will of the Wisps, right? Some, somehow. That's uh, that's a sort of enemy type that I wish it Bethesda had expanded on a bit in Skyrim. You know, the the weird energy beings. I guess they did a little bit with the Wisp Mother, Wisp Mother but uh, they kind of went in the opposite direction. They tried sort of made it more more corporeal looking. What even is the law behind what are the wisps and all that sort of thing? Is there any sort of reason for them existing, or is it just a just a mystery? I wonder. Oh. Feels like one of those things that probably isn't in the main games, but I bet probably got expanded on somewhere in the friggin' MMO. Oh dear, I need to shut up and just do this, don't I? I can't talk and lockpick at the same time. Ugh. Apparently I can't do it either way. There we go. Whew. Okay, a few little trinkets. Oh, I've just noticed that we're rather low on health. Uh, let's just use a bandage, shall we? Do you know what? Uh oh. Let's stay away from that thing until I finish bandaging. Um, just realized I have these enhanced bandages and I could have used them this entire time to cure my diseases. I could use that to get rid of my brain rot, probably. There we go. Purple glowy thing, die! Anything else here? That doesn't look like it really, does it? All right. Well, that was sort of that was quite an interesting little uh, diversion. Where? Didn't see you. 
probably thank the night eye for that. That and a comp combination of the night eye and my generally bad eyesight in general. Okay. Do you think I look fat in this outfit? No, no, no. I was saying that your biceps look big in this Hello outfit. There. Totally different Heard thing. Any news lately? Nobody goes into the mountains but hunters and thieves on the map. Food and shelters are. You may speak. Uh, Jazir would prefer not to speak. At least to you. I think I can hear the yogas. Oh, have we gone in a circle? We bloody have. Um, should we just get a torch out? Where's my, where's my glowy blue Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb torch? We're... The, uh, the old will-o'-the-wisp torch. There it is. You may speak. Anyone else remember that? Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. There's later levels in China with the, uh, with the blue glowy torch and the Pa Cheng and the, 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 in, the, all the platforms that were invisible unless you illuminated them with the magic torch. I was, that was great. I love that game. I should play it again one of these days. I was about to take that and I just realised that would technically be stealing and he, in realistically they'd be annoyed with me for doing that even though this doesn't count as owned but let's just pretend that it does Hello Mr. Ogre Jazir has come to free you he just needs to find the key Savila Lara who owns the Imperial Bridge ship, knows how to deal with troublemakers she just knocks them out Service. that is one way to deal with troublemakers Is he going to find the key? Perhaps he just needs to try and pick the lock. You all in here? Okay. Vinny, you keep watch. Oh, there we go. Go, my ogre friends! I've freed one group of ogres. I must check to see if there are more to be freed. Go, my ogre oh, friends! Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh. oh, boy. Ow, my health. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a poison of something. That's oh. health. Oh. Slaver! Oh. oh, thank you, Ogre friends. You saved Jazir's life. Whew. Uh, you're right there, Vilia. <laughs> uh, get up, come on. We need to go. We need to help the Ogres. Oh. Goodness me, there's a lot of them. Oh no, they're just gonna kill all the ogres now. Oh, this is just. Oh, this is sad. This is a ridiculous number of guards. Holy shizzle. How are we gonna deal with this then? This is ridiculous. Let's out the ogres. They will surely be overrun by all the guards. What are we going to do? How are you? Let's find the other groups of ogres before we decide what we're going to do about this, right, shall we? Good day. Take care. Diamond vein. Ooh. be down this way I guess no, that's, that's blocked off here we go hmm we 
could open we could open this. Uh, maybe not wouldn't get immediately attacked. I don't know what to do other than maybe try to start taking out the guards one at a time with sneak attacks, but that seems just a little cold blooded for Jazir, really. He's not an assassin. But then again, perhaps he, uh, he does hate slavers. I mean. And he wants to get these poor ogres out of here, so. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we would. Maybe he would actually. It's kind of, it's kind of grim, but actually, you know, like if it's the only way we're going to be able to be able to get the ogres out of here without them all being killed horribly by these slavers, then maybe that's what we got to do. We got to try and take these guys out one at a time. It's a little, it's a little morbid. It's very cold-blooded, but uh, that might be what we have to do. Let me get a little mini map up here. I'm getting lost. Probably isn't gonna work, is it? It's just gonna he's just gonna scream for help and they'll all come running and then I'll end up dead. Oh yeah, here they all come and I just yeah, absolutely thwack in the face. Then again, they it doesn't look like they all came running, so. I don't know, maybe there's something to this still. Oh my god, he's so much damage. I don't think I have any good healing, uh, uh, not healing, uh, shield potions either, do I? Haven't made any of those in a while. Just, just here to have any things in his bag of tricks that would help. Um, so many zombie. Oh my god, I just hit Villier instead. What a maroon! Oops. I've fought mud crabs more fearful than you! Oh, please, game, don't. Oh, the game's just crashed again. We, were, we went for ages without crashes, and then we've had two now in the same episode. How annoying. Oh dear. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think we're just going to call it there anyway. We've been recording for a while as it is. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, it's always awkward leaving on a crashed black screen at the end here, but um, never mind. When we come back next time, we shall be attempting still to free, free these ogres somehow. Even if I have to go away, make some shield potions and come back again, which is looking increasingly likely. I did pick up some potatoes, I think. Uh, but we're going to need more ingredients. Because shield potions require some very specific ingredients, and we don't have them at the moment. But uh, it might be what I have to do just to survive these bastards. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until then, have a good one. Catch you next time. <laughs>